Hello YouTubers, Rob here. I hope you're all well. I hope, you know, COVID blah blah blah, seasonal affective disorder, vitamin D deficiency, all of those things are striking you down dead. I don't really mean that, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you a strange item. It's a curiosity. It's a slight break from the normal, um, you know, schedule of dross that I kick out. Um, this actually has some intrigue. It's a crazy bowl. I'm going to show you the crazy bowl. I inherited it. I'll give you the backstory. Um, from my gran. It's a Murano glass made in Italy. It's still got the import sticker in very good condition. I think that adds to its value. It's what's known as a geode bowl, a geode bowl. It has a secret. It's trying to kill me. It's, this is, it, what I'm doing right now is not good for me. Um, it's got a little party trick that's linked to that and I'm going to go into it in a bit, in a minute. Um, but I'm going to give you the backstory. So basically I inherited this off my gran about 13 years ago. She got it from somewhere. I don't know, it's very heavy. It's uh, five and a half inches in diameter, three inches tall, and it weighs a whopping 1.4 kilos. So it's really, really heavy, very, very chunky. It's red on the outside, as you can see, or I'm not sure if that's red or amber. Uh, red and amber on the inside as well. I'm gonna go with like red, but could be amber. Um, and it's got these little nobbles and uh, yeah, it's all got this thick kind of inside glass here. So you've got clear glass, red or oh, amber, red and amber, all a bit weird. Okay, um, a guy called Galliano Ferro from Murano, one of the Murano glass factories. I don't know which one, maybe Seguso. Um, in the 1950s, late 1950s, early 1960s. It's worth, I don't know what it's worth. I've got no idea. I'm not really on Antiques Roadshow. I'm gonna say anywhere between 50 and 250 pounds, just to be really accurate with that. Um, if you know the value of this, by all means put it in the comments. If you wanna buy it from me, by all means put it in the comments. I have inherited it, but you'll soon find out why I don't want it in my house. Um, so yeah, here we are. I will put it down because it's freaking me out. I'll put it on here. Right, now. Why is it trying to kill me? Let's move on to this bit. So, um, it has a little party trick. If you get a normal glass bowl, I haven't really got a glass bowl. I've got a, I've got a glass bottle. Uh, I need this. This is the child's um, UV pen. You know, she's. you can write, you can draw things on the walls. And then you can press that and then you can see it. So it's invisible, you know, those invisible pen things. And the whole house is covered in this stuff. It's writing everywhere. I can't see it. Um, but when I turn this on, obviously, then I can see it absolutely everywhere. So um, this is a UV pen. You need the UV pen to shine on this to understand its party trick. If you do it on normal glass, I'm going to kill the lights and shine it on here. You're going to see what happens. Yeah, not a lot. It just looks like a load of UV pen on some glass. You do it on this, however, and this is where the party trick happens. Right. Do 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 freaky dicky. Freaky dicky. So my sound effects. That green woo ghostly glow. Quite Halloween in about two days time. Mm. I would say I'll give them the kids the sweets in this and hand it to them, but that would be really bad because it's made of uranium glass. It's radioactive. And this is why it's trying to kill me. It giving off right now, beta, gamma, alpha rays, some of them are passing through my body, no problems. If I put my mouth to it, they're gonna start bouncing around inside my body, the alpha rays and they will start actually destroying my internals. Um, I don't know how powerful this is. You need a Geiger counter, obviously, to check, and you'll go <coughs> crazy off the spectrum. But you know it's uh, radioactive because its photons react to the light. And that's basically the uranium getting excited and uh, showing its response. So uh, yeah, radioactive, maybe a good idea in the 1950s, possibly not a very good idea now. Uh, my nan didn't die of cancer, believe it or not. She died of uh, a old age, really, I think. Um, but should I be having this in my house? Should I get rid of it? Should I keep it? Should I just pull it out at Halloween and scare kids with it? I don't really know. Maybe leave the uh, comments in, a, in, your, in the, leave the comments in the comments section. It would be a good place for comments. That's where you want to put them. Um, and if you want to make me an offer to buy it, by all means do. I think I'll take anything more than 250 quid for it at the moment. Why not? 
go high. Um, so yeah, you guys take care. I hope you're all well. Happy Halloween. And um, yeah, if you're ever in the market for glow in the dark glass, then uh, uranium glass is something to, to check out. Obviously, Murano glass is pretty damn expensive these days. Um, apparently, someone said in one of the comments that at night, or if you get to dusk and there's a car boot sale, if you go to a car boot sale, the sun starts to go down before everyone's packing up their tables. This stuff, it was kind of light enough to allow the UV through from the sun, but dark enough that it's kind of dusk, um, starts glowing off all of the trestle tables. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see a feel for the car boot trestle tables lit up with these crazy uh, things. But, um, yeah, all shapes and sizes. Be careful. Is it safe? Is it not safe? I think the general feeling is it's probably okay, but, uh, again, you wouldn't want to put your mouth around it. So, you guys take care. Hope that's of interest, and see you in the next one.